One of Colorado's best tools to fight wildfires just sits there, costing taxpayers millions of dollars a year. Our Mark Salinger has learned that for more than a year, you've been paying a pilot and a mechanic to come to Colorado to fly a fire flying helicopter that is not allowed to go into the air. Uh, welcome, everybody. We are um, really excited about the progress Colorado is going to make. This story starts back at a time when social distancing and face masks were still new. Uh, a helicopter like this will then be deployable rapidly. In March of 2021, Democratic Governor Jared Polis stood in front of a $24 million Firehawk helicopter. It's official. And signed a bill that bought Colorado a powerful new tool to fight wildfires from the sky. The new helicopter will join a fleet of emergency response aircraft to get our first responders off the ground sooner, quicker. Three years later, nothing has gotten off the ground. The first helicopter was supposed to be delivered by the end of 2022. That didn't happen. In fact, Colorado will only finally take possession of the Firehawk this week. But that didn't stop the state from signing a more than $2 million contract with an aviation company to hire pilots and mechanics to come fly the helicopter for all of last year. A helicopter that couldn't fly. The, the contract was not something that was easy to back out of, right? There's not a pause button on a contract. It was a one-year contract that we were kind of obligated to fulfill. Mike Morgan is the director of the Colorado Division of Fire Prevention and Control. He says delays in certifying the aircraft, recalls on the engine, and problems with the water tank have all set the project back almost a year and a half. It was very frustrating that there were a lot of delays in the process that were beyond our control. They're doing us no good uh, sitting in a hangar in Centennial. Republican State Representative and current congressional candidate Mike Lynch sponsored the bill to buy the helicopter. It's, it's frustrating because because we anticipated that um, this asset would be put to work right away. That's a lot of money to spend on an asset. Republican Senator Perry Will sponsored the bill in the Senate. He hopes the helicopter will eventually pay for itself by stopping fires from being so destructive. What's the cost of putting these fires out? We've got fires we get several hundred million dollars into, you know, for firefighting efforts on them. Years of waiting and millions of dollars later, the Firehawk will finally fly for the first time tomorrow. You don't run down to the local Firehawk dealer and, and, and buy a Firehawk helicopter and you know like you would a car and drive it off the parking lot. It, it's very complex, very complicated. The state spent $24 million to buy that first Firehawk helicopter three years ago. Lawmakers were so excited about how it could help firefighters fight wildfires that then they spent $26 million more to buy a second one in 2023. Neither of those have flown a single second fighting fires here, Kyle, in Colorado. So what do you do with a very expensive helicopter that you can't use for its intended purpose? So you heard me say that it's going to make its first flight tomorrow. We're told that it's flying from Centennial Airport to Broomfield Airport so that it can be the backdrop for a press conference that the governor is hosting on Wednesday on Wildfire Outlook. Yeah. From there, they believe that they should be hopefully able to get it back up and running and hopefully can fight fires this season. Sure, sure. And now you've now you've ruined the backdrop for the press conference. I didn't ruin it. I just you just told people what was going on. How much yeah. it was cost. Kind of your job. All right. Thank you, Mark.